Okay, because we've talked about it, I want to put it into practice here. So let's take the, the student model that I've provided for you, and we're gonna add some Quixel Megascans models to the scene. I already showed you how to do it up here with this water tower. I'm going to put some more into here, and we're just gonna walk right through it. Add it to this existing scene. Of course, I can't give it to you for download, but you can go and get your own Megascans and add it to your scene. So just a quick review of how to do it. We go into, I searched for 3D bollards. I'm gonna add these bollards here and I'm downloading it. It downloads to where I want it to. Put it into your download, downloads folder, save. And then in your bridge, should be there. Okay, and it should work that when you open your bridge, that downloaded thing, if you put it in the right place, and again, you set that here. I put that into the downloads folder and so it automatically came up in here in my library. So again, we'll want to export, and you can actually tell it right here, send to V-Ray, send it to destination folder, and it will actually send the model and the JPEGs exported to a destination folder. I didn't show you this before, and this is the best way to do it. Now just tell it to go to the folder you want, export it, there you go, now we have the FBX, and the proper V-Ray maps that we need for our object. Now in here, we just have to import an FBX, concrete barriers, it's in its own folder. Here comes the FBX, there it is. Crazy high resolution, of course, on the polys. Let's place these over here. Make sure it's sitting right on top of that ground there. And remember what I said about modeling is that Adding these really high quality models in that are close up that you can see, it just adds that extra realism to your scene. Because it's hard to model everything to this kind of detail in your scene, so you want to pick and choose the places where it will really have the most bang for your buck. Nice thing about this one is we can rotate it 90 degrees each time we copy it, and that should give us a nice variation. I'm instancing it each time so that when we apply the material, it will work on all of them. Let's see how that looks in our camera view. Yeah, that's okay. I think I want to spread them out more though. Let's grab this one. We'll act like these are preventing cars from driving out onto this plaza. Okay, now for the materials. We can just set this to a V-Ray material. And for now, I'm just going to bring in the bitmap and apply it because we're going to get into all these materials later. So the bitmap, we all know how to do the uh, diffuse map or the albedo map, I should say. We all know how to use that. Let's just apply it real quick. We'll get into how to properly apply those other PBR textures later. That might be a little too grungy for my final scene, which looks mostly clean. But we'll leave it in there and see. Those look a little small as well. We might be adjusting that more as we go. But there you go, That there you have it. We brought in some, some nice Quixel Mega Scans. Yeah, these are way too small. Let's adjust them. Should be about three feet tall. Adjust them all by their own pivots up to the height of, let's put them the same height as those other ballers. No, those are down on a lower level. So about three feet is what we want them at. Now there's too many of them, obviously. Something more like that might work. Okay, great. We'll see if that makes the final cut. Let's go get some curbs, put them in. I like these right here. And download those, add them to my library, and add them to my scene in the exact same way. Okay, they're automatically added here. Awesome. Let's select them and then scripts, max, send to V-Ray. Same place again, export. There it is with my FBX. It's awesome. Super easy. Then just import it. Concrete curbs. Oh, that's merge. You want to import. Okay. There they are. Just two of them. It's going to butt it up right next to each other. Let's go and place those right in the foreground because they're very nice. Put our nice expensive models right up front, like the valet parking dudes. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is replace this little stub wall I've got here with these curbs. So what we can do is take this one and lower it down to like right about there. And then take these and copy them around until they are covering the space that we want. And here, what shall we do? We might have to uh, just crash this in here like that. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now let's see what that looks like with the basic material applied. Again, we will get into 
how to use these maps that it generates for us much more extensively. For now, we will just put that bitmap on, like so, and like so. And let's see what that looks like. Save. Okay, if we go to render and see what that looks like. Okay, I'm not sure these uh, Stonehenge ballers, ballers will make the final cut, but there they are. They look pretty nicely rendered. These curbs, I think, look great. Might adjust their location a little bit, give a little bit of gap between here and the curb. Let's make them read a little better and then maybe put some more over here. Maybe I could get one from Quixel that doesn't have so much moss or whatever that yellow stuff is on it. Okay, but in general, that's that's how you can apply some of the things we've learned about mega scans. Uh, we can get more into materials from mega scans later in the course. So we've now applied what we've learned about forest pack. We've done some painting of models of objects into our scene, and we've added some purchase models to our scene, and we've also downloaded some Quixel mega scan photo photogrammetry models for our scene. So cool, that about wraps up the modeling portion of some advanced modeling techniques to add detail and life to our scenes.